The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Thank you all for taking the time to join us today. We're glad you decided to join us on our first ever Roadmap webinar. What's new, what's coming is a webinar series we'll be running on a quarterly basis going forward to keep you up to date on new features we've launched, as well as letting you know what's in the works. At the end of the webinar, we'll also provide resources so that you can give your input on features you'd like to see added to your Smart Vault experience. Without further ado, let me introduce you to our speakers today. You have myself, Rachel Montana, Global Director of Marketing as moderator. We have Nicholas Tyson, Director of Customer Success, and Daniel Fritz, Director of Products. So what are we gonna be covering today? We'll go over what's new, what's already live on our new, uh, on our product what's coming down the road, and then we'll follow that up with a question and answer session. So let's start with what's new, and I'll turn that over to Nick. Thank you so much, Rachel. Again, my name is Nicholas Tyson, Director of Customer Success here at Smart Vault. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to tell you about some of the exciting new features and services we have launched over the last few months to help you continue to enhance your document workflow with the help of Smart Vault. First, I would like to talk to you about the assigned user feature, which was released back in late 2020. This new user role was created with the thought in mind to increase productivity and security for your employees and your business. This user functionality allows employees to be assigned and only see specific clients when they log in to SmartVault. This feature is ideal for customers that have a specific number of clients and would like to segregate access across the entire client base. This feature is really easy to set up and we have articles and videos online to help you get started in case you need some additional assistance. But as an overview, the assigned user feature allows you to assign employees to specific users. It's great for businesses that would like to limit access across multiple clients. And a great thing about it, this feature is available on all plan types. Now, I'd like to talk to you about Smart Vault Academy. Back in late 2020, we launched, uh, after a lot of feedback from our customers, um, the Smart Vault Academy, a self paced learning platform which helps you make the most out of the Smart Vault software. This free training program is available for all customers utilizing any of our plan types. This resource is great for your new employees, or if you would like to get a refresher on how the many functions within Smart Vault can be used. Throughout the year, we'll be adding additional courses to this learning platform uh, that is free to you. So to sign up is really easy, guys. Go to help.smartvault.com and under the Explorer button, click Smart Vault Academy. There you'll be able to sign up uh, to your free course. Now I'll pass it on to Daniel Fritz, our Director of Products, to talk about some more new things we've come out with in the last few months. Thanks a lot, Nick. And I want to say a special thank you to both Rachel and Nick for helping putting this together. So many of you guys on the phone may have seen the new guest experience. This is a new and modern approach to Smart Vault. We're much more mobile enabled. We have a responsive design that's going to give us more tools, and it's much easier for your team to understand. So let's take a quick look of what they're seeing whenever they log in for the very, very first time. So here you see a simple, simplistic homepage. I have a clear tour of what I can do. And most importantly, in the center of the screen, we have a clear action button, allowing me to quickly upload my documents. When we invite guests and clients to this portal, we want to make sure that they have the tools right at their fingertips. One of the other things that we have added is the ability to create shortcuts as you see along the top. You can create direct shortcuts into individual folders when you come in as a guest user. This will be very, very easy when you have multiple different download locations. So let's talk a little bit about uploading files into Smart Vault. So by clicking that upload documents button on the tile, that provides you all the different destinations within Smart Vault that your clients can upload documents. They'll simply choose the location, be that a tax engagement, be that a loan 
application or some financial documents that need to be uploaded for, for you guys as their CPA or the administrator, you will either drag and drop those files directly into that folder, or they'll choose the option to just upload and then they will choose and select the file and close that message. So this goes forward to allow us to make this guest experience very easy and intuitive for all of our guest users. So let's talk a little bit about what's coming up next. So one of the first things that we're releasing in this month is something called Certified Vault. The Certified Vault is a tool within Smart Vault that meets the UCC 9105 electronic chattel paper requirements. Now, this means that electronic assets, we as Smart Vault can hold those legally within our vaults. This allows things like mortgages, auto loans, and other collateral based contracts that can be transferred from entity to entity to be stored within Smart Vault. And that's going to be released in this month. And we're very, very excited about the opportunities that we have, and that's going to feed into our customers. A little bit further down the line, as we think post tax season, we're going to be releasing a request list. This is by far one of the most heavily requested features within Smart Vault. And we listen to our customers. You guys have said it very loud and clear. What we're going to do is allow administrators like yourselves to build some templates. These templates are going to be connected directly to engagements and provide a list of the documents that you're looking for. So because they are going to be linked to the engagement themselves, that allows you to create engagements in mass. So you will create your clients, create your engagements. And while you are creating your engagements, you can choose to select one of these templates and say, I want to have my standard tax. I want my loan application request list to be provided to my clients. When they navigate to that same upload documents area, area within their guest account, they'll be in the files exchange. Within that, if, even if you have multiple engagements going on with that same customer, there'll be an intuitive interface for them to see exactly which, inter which engagement is going to be requesting those files. And then where I am at with that, as far as being, have I already uploaded them? Am I uploading them now? Or do I still have them to do in our example here you can see my W-2 has already been delivered and then I'll submit that. And that's gonna be really key because once this list has been completed and we hit submit, that is automatically triggering a notification to you, letting you know that this individual client is complete with their request. So as we look through to the rest of 2021 after these, these updates that we're gonna be coming down in March and May, we're going to be continually changing the UI updates, focusing in on the clients list, the files and folders, and activity-based information. So instead of just getting your standard email notifications, you'll be able to, within the application, see which one, which files have most recently been uploaded. What were my recent files I was working on? This way, you can stay up to date with everything that's happening in your world. So be sure to stay tuned with Smart Vault and our great marketing team and their communications to stay connected with what's going on with these updates. And now I'm going to pass it back over to Nick to talk about how you guys can be involved. Thanks, Daniel. So as uh, Daniel mentioned about the product roadmap, all the things that have came out and what's coming, um, you all are going to be a part of how we decide uh, what's next in our product roadmap. And that's done through our ideas portal. This portal is where you can vote on your favorite product enhancement and directly impact our product roadmap, but not only this year in 2021, but also in the future. To vote, it's easy. Just simply visit ideas.smartvault.com and every single vote matters. If you don't see a product enhancement that you would like to see in Smart Vault, send an email to smart features at smartvault.com to be in consideration by our product team. Throughout the year, you will see new enhancements, uh, more features, and also new user interface updates uh, directly impacted by your votes. Now, I'll give it back to Rachel uh, for the Q&A session. Great. Thank you, Nick and Daniel. We'll now proceed to the questions and answers segment of our webinar. If you have questions and have not submitted them yet, please feel free to do so. 
We'll go through the questions now and have our team answer. To be respectful of everyone's time, we will not be able to address all questions. If your question is not answered here, we will be reaching out to you directly after the webinar to get those answered. Okay, let's get started. Uh, question number one, Nick, this would be for you. What is the link for SmartVault Academy? So uh, to go to the SmartVault Academy, visit our, our, our help center at help.smartvault.com. And then on the main page, there'll be a section called SmartVault Academy. Um, there's different links to, depending on the type of plan that you're on, the specific uh, training workflows um, that we have uh, brought out there. But once you go there, you'll uh, simply understand if you're on the business or you know, account or enterprise account versus accounting account or one of our UK customers. But you'll simply select the um, the the plan um, training that you will like, and then from there it will take you over to our Smart World Academy where you'll sign up and then start the academy. So help.smartball.com, you'll see it in the middle, Smartball Academy, click there, and all the steps are there to get you started. Perfect. Okay, question number two, can we get a copy of the deck? I can answer this one. Yes, we will be sending an email out after the webinar, which will have a link to view the slide deck we, we reviewed today. All right, question number three. Daniel, this question will be for you. The request list, will Smart Vault pick those documents automatically out of the organizers of Pro Series, or will we have to manually request each document? That's a great question, Rachel. So in the first iteration, what you'll do is you'll create your own template. Because everybody's organizer, the first round is gonna be unique. We're gonna be expanding on that feature in the future. So we'll provide you a template that you would want to be more generalized and then you can make individual edits on the individual templates that you'd like our future state is definitely to work with intuit and pro series specifically to get those organizers perfect okay daniel uh, here's another question for you can we bulk assign users yes absolutely in your clients list within smart vault you can use the left navigation select multiple clients and on the toolbar at the top in the center of the screen, what you'll be able to do is choose assign users and then move people into that and make sure to hit save once you have them assigned. Perfect. All right, and then as a follow-up to that, how can I find more detail on how the upload request will be used? So as we get close to the uh, request list, upload request, request docs, you know, the name is still in the air at the moment. Once we get closer to release, you'll see some great marketing from Rachel. There'll also be some knowledge based articles in existence on help.smartvault.com uh, over there in the support area. So we'll definitely give you lots of training. We'll give you lots of resources. And part of this release will actually include a basic example for everyone who uses request list. Perfect. Um, here's one on templates. Is there any way to remove an inadvertently created clone template? Not at the moment. However, with these UI updates that we're doing, and I mentioned during the presentation, we're going to kind of change how you experience templates. And so in the future, you will be able to quote unquote delete and remove those. So I understand that, yes, if you inadvertently copy, if you inadvertently create one, say your coworker already created one, yes, unfortunately, that's stay there right now, but we are definitely going to fix that problem in the next six, 12 months or so. Awesome. Does my client need a Smart Vault subscription for uploading documents to me? So, they don't pay any guest account any of your clients they don't pay for the account so smart vault works on a per user cost basis so you as a paid user can invite guests to smart vault so for example my accountant uses smart vault and i have a what's called a guest account that's what you saw the couple of screenshots that i mentioned earlier and in those guest accounts, those are no cost to the user themselves, but it provides, most importantly, an authenticated, secure way for your clients to provide documents to you. We At Smart Vault, security, we mentioned internally that security is in our DNA. We don't allow public links for upload because that is not as secure as we would like it to be. So in those cases, we do have to have them authenticated and log into Smart Vault in order to provide those documents. Now, with the mobile enableability that we've done with this new guest view, 
they can get that email on their phone, click the sign up link, sign up directly on their phone, log in and then use their phone camera to take pictures. And that doesn't, that's all done without the use of an app. I, I will say I did notice a question about Android apps. What we're doing is we're really pushing towards your clients don't have to download that app. They can just log in simply using either Chrome or Safari, the native browsers on most smartphones today. Perfect. Okay. When an employee leaves, can the assigned clients be reassigned? Absolutely. And to that point, you can actually have multiple employees assigned to the same client. So if you have, say, a manager in three employees, the manager can be on all of the accounts and then you can subset those and you'll be able to go buy clients and remove those existing, the new employee, you can trade those out. Perfect. Okay. Um, can clients take a training? Nick, that would be for you. Sorry, guys, I was on, I was on mute. Um, <laughs> no, so our, our platform isn't set up to have uh, our, our 1.5 million guest users to take the training, um, but we do have specific uh, training videos um, uh, geared towards your guest users. So when you go to help.smartball.com, there's a section around guests where we have um, specific training videos for them uh, that you can send over to them uh, for them to get going, uh, get started, speak on Smartball. Okay, perfect. Um, okay, and then I think we just have time for one more. Um, the question says, if I send them a link to a specific folder, you know, I'm not really sure what they're asking. Let me go on to the next one. I, no, no, that's okay. I can, I think I can, I can take in on that one. So okay. if you send them a specific link to a folder that you want them to see, you can absolutely navigate to that folder and either going into the gear icon you can say send link or you can also do a send link to file and that provides them an individual location this will actually be a lot easier once we move into the same platform that we have for the guest users we are going to be porting that same experience into you as an admin so you'd actually be able to provide the folder location as a link and as long as they have the permission to access that they won't receive any type of access denied messaging and they'll be actually land on that page. So sharing of those links and communication with your clients will be much easier. Perfect. I know there are a lot of questions in here. Um, everyone's question will be answered. We will follow up uh, by end of day today with answers to all of your questions. Um, but thank you, Nick and Daniel. And thank you everyone for joining today. We will be following up the webinar with an email, including a link to view the recording, as well as a related handout around the new guest user experience. We look forward to our next quarterly broadcast in June and hope you can all attend. Until then, have a great day and weekend.